welcome, welcome. This is Hope, the diva that crochets, and you have stepped into Crochet Chronicles. I am in the car as usual, so please come on in the room and let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. <sighs> with a little something something so please 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 be patient with me okay wait a minute that's not it okay let me do this hold on come on in the room welcome this is I'm not in the room. Let me spread the love. Hello. Hey, Evelyn. How are you? I'm spreading the love. So please spread the love. Are you saying something? If you're saying something, I'm going to see right now. Because I'm, if so, I'm going to turn off my, um, I'm going to start this all over. Let's see. Come on in the room, people. I know it's kind of early, but come on in the room. Get the party started. I don't even see this on my page. Why is, come on, for real? Okay. Let me see. Before we get like deep into stuff, look, hey T. Hey Maria, this is crazy. Like I don't understand why like the computer is not allowing me to see your um. I can't see on my computer right here. Nothing that you're writing. Nothing at all. And I got seven people in, so I'm not going to end it. I was going to end it, but since I got the seven people in, I'm not going to end it. I don't understand what is going on with the, the thing thing. Okay, here we go. Now, now it's... I don't know. Facebook do some strange things. If it's like me and... and it's like if you want us to pay, just tell us you want us to pay. Stop making it so hard and difficult for people to um to build their business. Okay, I got one more place. And then I'm gonna have your your undivided attention. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jackie. Hey, I can't see nobody. Anybody writing anything on my computer? I can't see it. I gotta look on my um. I have to look on my phone. Hey, Deltra. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Vicky. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay. So, this is what's going down. So, my cousin, she, I'm going to beat her up. Hey, Niavo, you feeling better? Did you go to the emergency room last night? Everybody pray for Niavo. She been really sick with a high fever. So, let's pray for her. Good afternoon. So, okay. My cousin, right? Love her to death crazy though she crazy you know the whole family crazy i just i just want to put that out there the whole family is crazy so my cousin sells insurance so why she got me taking the class and the test to sell insurance so we went to the class this weekend i was in the class this weekend sorry i didn't have nothing to eat i need to eat something so we went to the class this weekend. 
so we was late because she picked one. You welcome, Naomi. She picked one. She picked one site that was far, far away. And then when she realized it was too far, she called, you know, uh, her, um, her a well, whoever that I don't know what they call them, and said, "Can we go somewhere else?" So we went to the other place. Let me tell you, girl. When we walked in the room, you know, we was very polite. We walked in quietly and we asked the um the proctor, "Can we come in?" She looked down over her glasses and she said, "What do you think?" We was like. So if you ask me what I think, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I said, okay, wait, hold. My cousin looked at me. I looked at her. I said, I can't. I can't. It's just like too early in the day. I go morning. I ain't want to get out of my bed. We had to be there at 8.30. We got there at 9 o'clock. So we was a half an hour late. So, and y'all know I don't get up that early. So I'm like, I can't. So again, so then my cousin said it again. Can we can we come in? So she was like, sit down, and I'll deal with you in, in a few minutes. So I was like, Sabrina, you already know. You know my mouth. Then um she came over, she was like, Oh, I have to see, I have to call a person, but wow. Um, waiting for them to respond. Hi, Carol. Here is some paperwork to fill out. Da, da, da. Pay attention. Don't interrupt. And then, so we not, we not like, cause if she just said no, we would have just left. We would have understood. You know, you can't come in. You can't come in. So we did that. So as we filled out the paper, she texted the person. The person finally responded back. Said yes. All we gotta do is make up that little half an hour that we missed. So. As the class went on, she was fine and dandy. Everything's good. And come to find out, she's a very good instructor for the class. You, you um, is a is um, it's a very informative. I say this to y'all: if you have life insurance, you need to take the class. If you have life insurance, because it's a lot of things that you learn about policies, life insurance policies and annuities that you never knew and that i'm not saying that the person who um who signed you up for life insurance didn't explain it um to you but you'll learn it more in depth here now because i took this class hey chanel i'm going to go and review my life insurance policies just because i took this class because I'm wondering exactly, because you know when you go get life insurance for the people who have it, for the people who don't, um, call a sister. Like, um, I always had life insurance from the time I started working for the the city. I got a life. I got life insurance. I have life insurance on my son. People feel that that's morbid and stuff like that. But no, that's the the way of the world. I have life insurance on my son, and I'm going to take out another policy on my son. And I want him to get his own personal life insurance as well. And he could take one out on me. Because the more life insurance, the better. I have... Hi, Yolanda. If y'all, Some of y'all may remember that um was on my live some months ago. I had a papa sister whose brother passed away. And then, like, a couple of days later, she passed away. Neither one of them had life insurance. They had children. Young children and older children. The young lady that passed away, I believe she had five kids. Papa says, hey, Angela. So if you do not have life insurance. So now we all, as Papa sisters, have came together and we doing lives and, and we donating the proceeds to help bury both of them because neither one of them have life insurance so i'm saying that to say don't leave your family with that burden you can even take out insurance life insurance 
that will cover your bills so that your family don't be stuck with your bills. I learned a lot in that class. It was a two-day class. It started at 8.30 in the morning, and it ended at 5.30 in the evening. It's well worth it. Well worth it. If you want to know more, hit me up. Hit me up. Well, you will learn so much. If you have a job that affords you annuities, you need to take that class. Like my job, we get annuities from my pension. I mean, not from my, from my union. Part of our union dues goes towards annuities so that when we retire, we have annuities. If you want, I'm telling you, you get to learn the term life and the whole life. You get to learn all about all of that. That class, hey, LaShawn, was well worth it. Hold on, y'all writing something. What's it say? That's exactly when I got mine's Carol because I didn't have my son till like right before I started working for the city. My son was eight months old when I joined when I started working for the Department of Corrections. So not should say for the city, for the Department of Corrections. But I got my life insurance when I started working for the city. Working for the city in um two thousand um two thousand ninety. So when I started working for and that was for the Department of Finance. And I got life insurance there, but I increased it even more when I went to corrections. Yes, everybody should have life insurance. I was like, wait, but see, the whole thing is people don't even understand. It's like having money in the bank. Because you could borrow against your life insurance. So life insurance is so extremely important. I can't stress that enough. How important. Because life insurance, yes, you have life insurance in case you, it's for, in case you pass away. But you can also utilize that life insurance during hard times in your life. Yeah. I, for hard times in your life, you can borrow against that life insurance and pay back. So it's like, see, that is one thing about poor societies. They don't understand. And then you see on Facebook, people having to do go me funds and stuff like that. I'm telling you, life insurance is the best way. And while you're young, it's the best time to get it because you'll get locked into a cheaper rate while you're young. The older you get, the more expensive it gets. So because they feel like the older you get, that's when the ailments start coming into effect. Hey, Tammy. So I'm telling you, if you don't, and get life insurance, the way the world is going, it's not morbid to have life insurance. People think, you see rich people, they have life insurance on their kids. It's not more from the time they're born. That, why do you think they have girl life? From the time they're born, anything can happen. You're not wishing that on your children, but anything can happen. You could get in a car accident and your child get killed in the car accident. You could be walking down the street, somebody run up on the curb at... You know, because they may be drunk driving. They may have had a heart attack at a wheel or a seizure at the wheel. They um, may have fell asleep at driving. Um, something may impair their vision. They may have been trying to avoid something and came up on the curb and killed you, killed your child or killed you. Now, you don't have insurance on your child. You're not, you, you know, you, you, you live in paycheck to paycheck as it is. So now it's hard for you to afford to bury your child. Don't and then you gotta be doing a gold me fund or asking friends and families to contribute to helping you. Hold on one second, this is my neighbor and I need to talk to him. Big head. What's up? I need you. Who is this? I don't know. Cause I need them to move. Cause Wednesday I gotta go take a test from my, uh, my insurance class. Oh okay. And I need to drive. Oh. I don't know who you are. You know I get locked up in the day before then. You was alive. I'm on the live. I don't want them to hear your business. They I go down there and they talk about just stop me and tell me my life is just dead. Your life is dead? No. So it's one person? Then I don't know. It, it, I think the 
was looking for something else, or I don't know. Like the strip, I was down there for two days. You was a lie. Because yeah. I was like, why he not answering me? You know all this I say you. You know that. Yeah. What the easy? Yeah. I, man, I, since I'm American, I've never happened to me yet. Get that out of here. Yeah, I don't even, remember, I didn't even move this there. No, I wasn't. I wasn't out because my cousin had me out early this morning. Yeah. Going um, Saturday and Sunday, I had to go to um, this class. And so, did they figure it out? Then I don't go to court. But yes, you, 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 you think it's not? No, no, it's not. He, they told you it's not. They told me the, when I went down and said it's not a it's not a thing. It's when I came, the, I don't know. I know they was looking for somebody or something. And you probably fit the, their subscription because yeah. they think all black people look yeah. like. Yeah. The, the guy took to the, they took it up a jam my vehicle. I said I'm working in that. You know I don't even drive no. in the night. By time two o'clock I don't They know. probably looking for these daggone body snatchers out here that be snatching these people with these women off the street. So they're saying um, I was driving in the night and they take off the of my van in the night and all kind of things. So, either, so what is it then? If I was driving at night or is my license suspended? They say my license suspended and I was working, working the vehicle in the night. Somebody probably called on you. Yeah, but I don't get my trouble in trouble. No, somebody probably... These people over here, I don't estimate none of them. And let me get back to my people over here. I'm sorry, y'all coming. Okay. See you later. I'm going to call you when I get Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. So let's see what y'all writing. I just think that it's beneficial, if, even if you have life, if you have life insurance. Good morning, um, Ebony, Kai, T um, Tamara. What's up, ladies? Exactly. Exact. Oh, girl, you ain't never lie, Laura. Laura, you ain't never lie. Let me put the phone over here. Laura ain't never lie. That's exactly when it becomes morbid. When you gotta ask somebody else to help you bury your child, or somebody in your family gotta ask people to give them money to help bury you. And people, people is disgusting. The first thing they be like. The B was borrowing money from me when she was lying. Now she's getting money from me when she's dead. This, this is how people think. That's how people think. Don't want no. I don't want nobody to have to talk about me about nothing. I mean, but you know they're going to talk about you. But don't be talking about me that I borrowed no money from you. Or that my family had to borrow money. Because that, that's the whole thing. Let me tell you, in the black community... We are a piece of work towards each other. And the first thing they'll be saying, oh, she had that good job. You mean to tell me she ain't never had no insurance? She over here wearing Gucci and Louie and Fendi, and she ain't had no money to bury herself. Her family ain't got no money. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's what it is. Don't give them, the, don't give them that fuel. Look, twenty dollars a month, a hundred, whatever it costs. Get that money together. Sell some more crochet, so you could pay for it, or start selling your crocheting, so you could pay for it. And if you got that don't have. I'm sorry I had to eat that because not my stomach going to be in here growling. Y'all going to hear my stomach. If you got elderly parents that don't have life insurance, take out a policy on them if, they, it's not, if they're not too old. Like, my mother is 86, so I can't take out no policy. But I think in New York, you have, if you live in New York, you got to, like, certain companies to, like, 75 years old. So, I'm telling you to um and you pay for the policy it be, could be ten dollars a month it could be um a hundred and something dollars every quarter or it could be four hundred and something dollars every quarter it's worth it at the end of the day it will be well worth your benefit to do that Really? <laughs> I hear that, Benny. 
Beatty said at the end of that. Was like, you listen to this? Listen to what Beatty said. She said, "I had a, I had, I've had life. No, I've had because Yolanda's popped up. Give me a minute, Yolanda. I had an old friend who said that burial insurance is burial insurance is for friends and family to deal with after she dies. Needless to say, that was the end of our friendship. I hear that because." It ain't on me to help pay for you when you die. Only thing I need to be paying for, only people I need to be paying for when they die is my son and my mother. Okay, that's the only two people. Anybody else, not even cousins, not not not, not even, well, my brother is deceased already, so, but maybe my brother... If he was still alive, but he's deceased. My mother paid for him. So, this is it. I've had insurance. I've had life insurance with every job I've ever had that offered it. Both my kids and their accounts. Both my kids have their own bank accounts since, um, since the years they were born. I want them to have something in the event something happens to me or their father yes but you don't only need life insurance through the job because a lot of times jobs when you're no longer working for them you no longer have that life insurance you need to personally get your own life insurance with a life insurance a life insurance agent you do not need to be getting life insurance just through the job. Like, I have life insurance through my job. When I work corrections, I believe it was $75,000. If I was still working for corrections, I think it's $75,000. I think now that I'm retired, it's $5,000. That's not enough money to bury nobody. And I don't want to be buried. Save all that money. Just cremate me. You don't even got to have nothing at a funeral home. You or you could just, you could just, um, <clears throat> you could just have a couple of friends and family over at the house and call it a day. You don't even gotta spend the money on a funeral home or that. Just to all have the um, cremate me and call, and that'll be the end of that. That's how that go. You ain't got to even go through all of that craziness. Save that money. Um, pay for the house if the house ain't paid for, but the house will be paid for. Um, the, house, the house is paid for, but I'm saying your house, pay for my child, I'm talking about my child, and do all of that. Do what, you know, put the money in the bank, put it towards my grandkids whenever he has some. Don't do it. Mm -mm. You ain't got to spend all that money and all of that, because they charge it. They, all these fancy, um, fancy, um, um, caskets and all of that craziness. Mm-mm. Did he even ring the bell? Or he just this who that who is this FedEx guy? I'm glad he not my Fed, my my normal FedEx guy. This is crazy. So yeah, is it? Well, you know, hit me up, Yolanda, because that's what I took the class for to, to start, you know, to the, I take my test on Wednesday, but hit me up because that's what exactly why I took the, the class because it is very important, it's very important and to, to have insurance. And it's very important, like, if you have a spouse or um, an elderly family member to have insurance on them because a lot, especially the elderly, a lot of older people, they 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 wasn't thinking about life insurance either so you got the older people that's not thinking about it and you got the younger people that's not thinking about it right you can have it automatically deducted from your checking account so that way you don't even or your savings account so that way you don't even have to look at it you don't have to be worrying about paying like when i was working they automatically deducted it from my account. So now that I'm not working, I have to pay. Well, I don't have to, but I pay pay the um I pay my premiums myself. But I'm just letting you know 
that is very important this is the reason why my cousin was like come on take this class with me let's get this license it's very important because i really and i when i when i started listening to like and reading because i have the book and everything when i started reading and listening to the information i was like oh my god i don't even have the heat on it it's burning up it's it's nice today but this is that catch pneumonia weather when i started listening and reading the information listening to the, 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 the um, instructor and reading the information I was like I need to really my my um life insurance policies that I have because I have quite a few <clears throat> and I really need to start going over them did I do this side right here I really need to start going over them So, I just wanted to put that importance in your ear. Hey, Laverne, how are you? I wanted to put that importance in your ear. The importance of having life insurance on you, your spouse, your children, and your elderly parents. And tell and let your family members know, look, I'm telling you now, if you don't got life insurance, you better go. I'll be like, because I ain't paying for your death, okay? So, get it together, chick, or get it together, sir. That, that's we're not playing these games go out there and get your life insurance you going out there partying drinking flossing for 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 people that don't care nothing about you and then now you dead and the people that care about you gotta scramble around and trying to find money to to bury you So tell, make sure you tell your family. But besides that, what is popping? What's popping, y'all? What's popping? <clears throat> I'm telling you, this weather is pneumonia weather. My my car say it's 50 degrees. I do not have on no air conditioner. I mean heat. I'm good. We over here talking about life insurance because I took this um this class for life insurance to get my license. And I was like, I, when they started explaining the stuff, like the different type of policies and stuff, it made me wonder. So I was just, you know, hitting up my little, my sisters and my brothers that's watching and telling them that the importance of getting. That was for you? Oh, because he, he pushing the door. I don't even think he rang a bell. I was telling the importance of getting life insurance because you got to get life insurance. Let me tell you, you have to have it. You do not want to leave a burden for your family. And then to find out you can get life ins you can get insurance that will cover your bills because you know now these days the creditors ain't going to stop with you dying. The creditors do not stop. Let me just say that again. The creditors do not stop with you dying. They still want their money. So know that now that becomes a burden for your family too. So why not have enough money to cover your burial, to cover all your your expenses and stuff like that. And then that's when a lawyer comes in too, where you should have a lawyer that deals with estates. So because people say, well, I don't have no estate. If you own a car, if you have a bank account, that's considered an estate. If you own a house, a car, and a bank, you could have the smallest house in the room. You could have one of them tiny houses. If you own it, if you even if you paying a mortgage on it and you don't own it right out, but you, that's part of your estate. So make sure that you have something to cover that. You don't want to have to, especially if it's a family home that the great, 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 great grandparents pass down 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 you don't want to lose that home that home may be worth a million dollars you don't want to lose that have it where a family member i mean have it where you have enough money to pay off that mortgage or pay off that that refinance finance loan that home equity loan that you that you may have um occurred have enough money to pay off your bills you left the credit card bills you left 
the Home Depot bill you have, have enough money, but you can get a policy that's just designed for that. You can get a and I didn't know that. So that was something powerful to learn that you can get a policy that will just cover your expenses. And then you can have the life insurance policy. You could even if you own a home, I don't know if the banks are still offering it, but when I got my home, they had had offered an a uh, uh, um a, a, a life insurance policy that in the event of Mary Jane and Mary Jane or Sue dying, that money will be go will go to pay for the home. That money will go to pay just for the mortgage, pay off the mortgage. Then you can have a mortgage burning party and all of that. You don't want the person to die, but in the event they die, now you don't have to be stuck with that monthly mortgage expense. I'm telling you, reach out to me, people. Inbox me. Hit me up. I learned a lot. A whole heaping lot in that class. I see people getting off. They don't want to hear about it. But see, those be the same people that don't want to hear about it. Be the ones that ain't got no daggone life insurance. But they out here flossing in the street thinking they cute. With the latest design of this and the latest design of that. And then something happened because they out there in the streets. Being someplace they probably wasn't supposed to be. And... What happened? They get caught up in something and wind up getting killed or whatever. Or injured badly where they can't even go to work. Now, if you have a life insurance policy and you get, and that happens, say you get injured badly, you can't go to work. But you don't have no income coming. You had a life insurance policy. You could borrow against that policy. You could borrow against that policy. I know, Laverne, you could borrow. You didn't even know that, right? You could borrow against that policy. God forbid, you outside in the street, you flossing, you cute, you distant, that. You at the party, you in the club. Somebody got beef with somebody. They just shot up the club. You was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You, you wasn't looking to get shot. Now you dead or you injured real badly where you can't go work. You don't got a job like I had a job. The job paid me while I'm out sick until I could get back or until they say, okay, enough is enough. We're going to put in the papers and start medically separating you. But so you don't got that job that's going to pay you if you don't show up. You got the job that the only way you get paid is if you show up. So I'm telling you, Get in policy. Put into that policy. Where you going? I'm you not moving, huh? Yeah, it's still early. Well, who, that's you right here? Yeah. I'm going to fight you. I will come on this time now. It's 12, 13. 13, I'll come on. Okay. So I, I think I'm like three minutes fast. So it's yeah. like, I might be three minutes fast. Yeah, so, now you can't go to work. Now, who going to pay the bills? You going to get evicted from your house or they going to foreclose on your home? Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, Laverne. Yes. And see, you have somebody here in the comments that says she learned the hard way. She learned the hard way. She didn't have it. I'm telling you, these kids be out. You be telling them, don't go. James, don't go. Sheila, don't go. Don't go over there. Don't go here. Don't go there. And they don't listen to you. And they go. And now they done got killed in the street. Or they running with 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 Michael or Sharon, they running with Michael and Sharon, and they and 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 Michael and Sharon then went and got. Look, these kids just keep throwing their balls over the dead one gate. Ain't nobody here to get their balls. 
they run it with Michael and Sharon, and Michael and Sharon then got them caught up in some craziness. Let me, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Laverne, when I used to live in Bushwick back in the day, long time ago, I was still young when I lived in Bushwick. My brother was hanging out with his friend. We, My brother came home. The friend came home with him. Came in the house. No, matter of fact, my brother was home. Put it there. My brother was home. His friend came over to the house. They was in the in the, in the room kicking the Willie Bobo, bye bye bye, just talking, talking, talking. That's what we used to say back in the day, kicking Willie Bobo for anybody here that's younger than me. Okay. So my mother is the type when you leave the house, she always either come to the door or she look out the window and see if you're getting in a car. Cause you know, you 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 know you you young, you be like, Ma stop, 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 ma stop. So so he was leaving with my brother brother he didn't tell my brother what was had happened he didn't tell my brother what he had did before he came to the house he didn't tell my brother none of that okay my brother bushwick on Culver street we used to live on Culver street between wilson and knickerbocker anybody in here that's from new york that know bushwick area laverne do because laverne from bushwick she know so he ain't tell my brother nothing. So they going out. My brother just thinking they going to hang out. Step outside the door. A car, convertible car pull up. Two people sitting up on the back seats with sort of shotguns. Go click, click. My mother screamed at the top of her lungs. Screamed at the top of her lungs. My brother's name. And they jumped three steps at a time back up the stairs. Okay? And the car drove off. When my brother got back in the house with that guy, my brother asked him what happened. He said he was out gambling with these people, these Spanish guys, lost the money, didn't have the money to pay, ran out of there, and they followed him to my brother house now my brother don't know nothing he was in the house he was in the house he came to our house he was in the house he came to our house minding his and uh, my brother was in his house minding his business in his room watching tv and this guy brought this drama to my brother my brother told him, get the F out my house. Don't you ever come back to my house. You could have got me and my family killed. And I wouldn't, and none of us know why. So now, my brother then got, say my brother got killed for that. My brother dad died of natural causes. So, like I said, my brother is deceased, but he died of natural causes. He had a stroke, okay? And then from the stroke, he never got any better. So, he died from natural causes. But I'm saying, now, what if he had got killed that night? And my mother, because she was a single parent struggling to make ends meet, didn't have no life insurance on him. Now, we we going back and forth with family and friends and everybody to help pull up. Because I was young. I was about six, five or six, seven maybe. I was young. But I remember this to this day because certain things stand out and make you remember. I remember that because I was in the window with my mother. We both were standing at the window looking. Because I, I am a mommy's girl. I'm up underneath my mommy. That's why my mommy is still with me to this day. Okay? So, now what if she didn't scream, he got killed, the other guy got killed, because they wasn't aiming for my brother, they wanted the other guy, but my brother was the first one to step down the step. So he could he would have got shot too. So, and then they don't have no life insurance. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, 
I say that to say you could be anywhere at any time. You could get caught up in stuff. That my whole point was caught up in stuff and not even know because people is dirty they will get you caught up in mess and you don't even know how you got caught up in the foolishness that you don't they you do not know how you got caught up in the foolishness and now that you are caught up in the foolishness you could be laying on a slab at the morgue i've been to the morgue laying on a slab at the morgue hey keisha and not and, and your family not knowing how they're going to put you in this ground. They don't have the funds to do it. Because let me tell you, funerals is not cheap no more. The cheapest way to go is cremation. But a lot of people want to floss for a funeral. That's why I say cremate me, keep the money, pay all your bills off. And, and live your life. Come visit. Um, put my ashes on the t on 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 the um vestibule or something on on top of the china cat or something. My birthday. Celebrate my birthday. Have a little drink for me on my birthday. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm. That's that's what I'm saying. Don't be sitting around spending all this money on the prettiest casket, the best. Plot. All of this. Just, just, just cremate me and enjoy your life. I enjoyed mine while I was here. That's all. <clears throat> so, what else, people? What else? What else? What, Keisha, what's going on, girl? You crocheting anything? Are you still here? Cause she probably came in and said, what is we talking about? <laughs> she probably came in and said, what are we talking about? I heard death and stuff. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just telling you how the world is. And how these people out here is grimy and will get you involved in something that you have no clue. And the next thing you know, and, the, and the, you know what the funny thing is? You, you'll you be dead and they'll still be alive. And then you ain't had nothing to do with it. You ain't had nothing to do with it. You'll be dead and they'll be alive and you ain't had nothing to do with it. And who's here? Anybody here? I see the numbers just dropping off. What's going on? Who is here? So if you have life insurance policies, go examine your life insurance policies because you never know. You never know. You may have you may have term term life instead of whole life and you want whole life or you may have or Look, it's so many different things going on you may have and not know that you have. So I guess there's nobody here that talks to me. So I'm about to get off. It is 12.23. I didn't even expect to be on, come on so early. I normally come on at, um, I normally come on at 12 o'clock. But I said this, I think that this is an important issue that needs to be discussed because, um, I'm telling you, I was totally, totally, totally flabbergasted when I learned all of these things. I was like, yo, I really got to call my insurance agent and have that person come over or me come over to their office and have them sit down with me to discuss my policy and what I have in my policy. And so, Well, I got a couple of different policies. No, I guess nobody's here from my oh with the numbers then went back up. Who's here? Somebody give me a shout out. Say something because I don't see anything coming up on my phone. I'm using my phone to see the comments. The last person that came in the room was Keisha. I don't know if Keisha is still here because she never said nothing. Um Laverne, you still here? Tammy, Tanya, Yolanda. Evelyn, Laura, Ebony, Carol, Di um, what is it, Diane? Was it Di didn't Diane come in the room? 
Beanie. Somebody said I'm here, LaShawn, Angela, Chanel, Nyaro, Deltra, Vicky, Jackie, Carolyn, T. Oh, Ebony is here. Hi, Sarah. Okay, if they're not on my policy, they can't get nothing. So they ain't killing me for insurance. Oh, so I ain't worried about that, Sarah. Maria, uh, you still here, Maria? I'm not worrying about that, Sarah. They ain't, the only person on my salary is the people that I love. I'm not on my um my salary, on my um policy. And my child is not going to kill me, and my mama is not going to kill me. I'm not even worried about that. That's 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 just the furthest, the furthest, the furthest thing from my mind. Oh, hi, hi Dorian. I'm glad. Yes, that I'm. Let me tell you. I would, when I was, I, I, let me tell you, I kept, my cousin kept looking at me because I said, I really got to look at my policies. Like, I got to see exactly what kind of policies I have, what my policies say. I really got to look at my policies. You at work? Girl, I don't miss, I don't miss that at all. I don't miss that. Maybe some of the people, but since I've been retired, they don't even call me. You know how you, when you at work, you think you're cool with people, and then you see the true color. So I, I'm, I'm good. I always been basically a loner anyway, so I'm good. I think, I think a lot of Virgos are like that though. I don't need nobody smiling in my face, acting like they my friend, and they really not. So. So anybody got anything to talk about? Anybody crocheting? What's on your hook? This is the Crochet Card Chronicles. Crochet Card Chronicles, and I am working on finish this up so i can mail it i got two things i got three more things two more things after this i really need to get a new screen do y'all see my screen protector let me show you this is the protector so imagine what my 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 screen would have looked like if i didn't have the protector on it do y'all see the screen protector look how look at it i need a new one badly I need a new one badly. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like the rich people. Multiple streams of income. I have money coming in all kinds of directions because I'm not I'm I'm not gonna ever be living in that life. And if you had a life insurance policy and you let it lapse, I'm telling you, get, get some life insurance. Don't leave your family like that. Do not, let me say that again. Let me, let me like stress that. Do not leave your family with that burden. You don't want to be a burden while you're alive and then a burden while you're dead too. Because now your family is trying to figure out how to pay, how to pay for your 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 death expenses don't don't do that they was trying to pay help you survive while you was alive and then now you you just cease because i'm telling you family is the worst family do you worse than anybody 
family will sit up there and talk about you like a dog with your enemy. I'm just, I'm just saying. Family will sit up there and talk about you like a dog with your enemy. So, don't be a burden while you're alive and be a burden while you're dead. Don't even do it. Don't do it. Nobody. I swear y'all are not um cooperating today. Nobody is crocheting anything. Is anybody making anything? Even if it's not crochet. What are we making for dinner? Let's have a conversation. I don't know what what I'm gonna have to find some some questions to keep your interact. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What is why is this cop driving down the street with this daggone lights going on, letting us know he's cop? Um, what is your favorite '90s movie? What is your favorite '90s movie? Okay, that should get some. What is your favorite '90s movie? Cause we're gonna move off of death and move on to something to, a little bit more enlightening. What is your favorite '90s movie? Now I have a couple, but my all-time favorite is Love Jones. Love Jones is my all-time favorite. I love that movie. Lorenz Tate, I'm in love with him. I'm his wife on the side. I'm just letting y'all know. So, if y'all was looking at Lorenz Tate, I'm just letting, letting... Dinner in the oven now. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Mary says she's finishing up a blanket. Ebony says she's making a blanket. Tammy says she's driving. Okay, be be um careful, um Tammy. Don't text and drive. Please, I, I don't want to be caught. I do not need your husband and your two kids trying to beat me up because you were trying to talk to me and you was driving. Please. Um, so it's Love Jones, Save the Last Dance, the first one, the original one, Save the Last Dance. The next one is Best Men, um, Love and Basketball. Um, how high white chicks I got 10 I got 10 that I like love that money I never heard it okay white chicks um um oh god where's the name it was the the gangster movie when um the guy put the white stuff on they, on his face, and they I think they robbed the bank. Lorenz Tate was in that movie too. He robbed the bank. He got got out of the military and he couldn't get a job, and they um all robbed the bank. Oh God, what is it called? What's it called? Um. It's not Panther. It's something with a P, I think. Oh God. Um. Okay. So I said that one. Um. And they the soundtrack for that movie was so fly. Um. I did white chicks. I did high high. I like how I like I like com dead presidents. That's it. Dead presidents. I knew it was something with a P. Dead presidents. So dead presidents is is seven. Um. Cause I like comedy too. So how high and a white chicks is a comedy. Um, I said love and basketball brothers. I think it's brothers. The, the, the movie where, um, they, they all was homeboys and the guy was called brothers. I think that one, but it, what's the movie when they started out, they all went, they, that's the movie when they all went to like high school together and they all was getting mad. They, um, this one guy was getting married to his high school sweetheart. I can't remember. I think it's called brothers. I think that's what it's called. Um, I watched it in a long time. 
But my best love movie is Love Jones. I love Love Jones with Lorenz Tate stood up there and he said he said that poem and, and he said, Well alright, alright. I was like, ah, you better, you better, you better. Woo! I love that movie. I said, go ahead now, um, Lorenz Tate. He had me from then. He had me from then. I was I was his wife forever after that. <laughs> after that movie, I was his wife forever. Woo! I was like, ooh, Lorenz Tate. And Nia Long, I love that movie. But say Save, Save the Last Dance was a good movie too. If you have anybody on here ever seen Save the Last Dance? Save the Last Dance was good. I got three more movies to go. I'm trying to think. I like white chicks because that is so... Oh, um, Legally Blonde. That's number eight, Legally Blonde. Number one, not the sequel shit. The, number one, Legally Blonde. I like that one. Bring It with, um, what's her name that's married to Dwayne Wade? Bring It, Gabrielle Unions. Bring It, that was The Bomb. Okay, and... So that's nine. I got one more. One more. One more. One more. Let me see. Um. And I have. Oh. 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 I love all of the Harry Potters. All of the Harry Potters and X Men. So I had eleven. X Men and all of the Harry Potter movies. And me and my son, we still to this day, we have a movie date when a good now we didn't get we didn't go see um why is this little kid hanging out the gate? We didn't go see um Bad Boys 3 and I'm mad because usually we go on a movie date. Hey Shay, how you doing girl? We normally go on a movie date, and we didn't go on our movie date this year. What you doing? You gonna walk past my car? You know I'm in the car. How you doing? How you doing? What you doing? How's Ma? She's good. Okay, that's okay, good. Make some stuff in the crib. Okay, tell us to hi. I will, baby. Take care. You too. Okay, no. Siri be getting on my nerve because Siri be just doing things that she don't need to be doing. So now, what to, what you say? I'm making another blanket for my daughter. I got to send you a picture. Okay. Okay, um, Shay. See, I didn't got people back to crocheting that wasn't crocheting. Last night in my team meeting, um, for my paparazzi, I had a team meeting with the team last night. Shay, why you didn't come to the team meeting? You don't have to be on, on my team, um, on my team exactly to come to the team meeting. You could have came to the team meeting. Hey, Lisa. So, she, she was up there crocheting. I don't know what she was making, but she was crocheting while we was talking. I put you in the group for a reason, um, Shay. Lisa, what's going on? What you making? Y'all just, y'all missed it because we was in here talking about life insurance. Hey, Janine. We was in here talking about life insurance and the importance of having it. Oh, no, it ends in 40 minutes, so you just got to come back on. It ended in 40 minutes, so you had, all you had to do was come back on. I didn't see you in there, Shay. You didn't say nothing. Next time when I have my, I'm having another one this Sunday. So I another one this Sunday at the same time, same bad channel. So I'm gonna be telling people to make sure that they um announce themselves when they come in the room since people wanna come in and don't say nothing. Yes, life insurance. You you was at Michael's, okay girl. Don't buy out the store. Don't buy out the store. Because, you know, you go to Michael's and say, oh, I just need to get two more skeins of this yarn to finish off this item. And next thing you know, you done spent like a hundred and something dollars. You'd be like, wait a minute. I came in here for two skeins of yarn. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um, make sure you have the app download to your computer, or your, your 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 cell phone. Just make sure you have that, and all you gotta do is put in the um, put in the code. Like the code was seven something seven for that long code. It's like a nine digit code. You put that in, and it'll and it'll bring you right to the meeting. So yeah, um, so yeah, we were Janine. We was in here talking about the importance to have life insurance policy. I explained to them also about um, I gave them a scenario of how things can happen that you have no control over. I told them a story about when I was young and I used to live in Bushwick, and my brother's friend came to the house after he had got into it with the Spanish the Spanish people gambling with them and everything and they followed him to my house and my brother was in the house and they was going to go out and when they stepped out the door a car convertible car pulled up two guys sitting in the back on top of the back seats from the convertible car and clicked the, the shot sort of shotgun clicked it like ch -ch to put a bullet in the chamber and was getting ready to shoot and my mother screamed at the top of her lungs and my brother and the guy ran back in the house but i'm saying now if you don't have life insurance now say that was the scenario my brother had got killed and, he, and we didn't have life insurance on my brother now my mother is stuck with the burden a single parent you know making ends meet trying to make ends meet on how she's going to bury her child and she ain't had nothing to do, and he ain't had nothing to do with what the other guy does. So I just, it was just a scenario on how. This is a true story though. This wasn't a scenario like I'm making up something in my head. This was a true. Why is the phone? Who, who am I calling? Hello? Why isn't it on the radio? No. I'm on. See, um, Siri be doing some craziness. Siri done dialed my dad on my car. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not in a um in a call and somebody sitting here listening to me. Okay. Siri's be doing Siri be doing some craziness. Had me in a call, and I wasn't even calling nobody. Give me a minute because I got to pull this up on my screen so that I could um, I could see what y'all saying. So this was a true story. It wasn't a, a made up scenario. And I'm just saying within that true. Exactly. Because if my mother wasn't the type of parent that go to the door, to the window, when you leave, it could have turned out totally differently. So I'm just saying now she stuck god forbid she would have been stuck with life insurance um, and with burying her child and didn't have life insurance so it, i was just the, the scenario is basically like you can't control what other people do around you so make sure if god forbid if you get caught up in something that was beyond your control that your family is covered and won't be out here like people be going on on facebook putting up go me funds trying to help pay for your your expenses and because people talk about you you think they talk about you when you're alive if you was a fly on the water hear what they say about you when you're dead you will probably have a heart attack and die again because people be there i was saying how people be like oh she was she was always begging me for money when she was alive or they'll be like oh she walking around here thinking she cute with her fly with her gucci and her louis and her Fendi. you mean tell me she ain't put no money aside so that her family could bury her uh, i'm telling you these are the things people will say Yeah, my brother, he had a stroke at the age of 40, and he lived to see 41, but he passed away before he, he passed away.
natural causes because he wasn't breathing right he wouldn't stop smoking them damn going cancer sticks i never was a smoker my mother used to smoke but when my brother had the stroke she stopped smoking when she when he had the stroke she stopped smoking and she hasn't smoked cigarettes since i think once uh, after that and but then i think when my brother died she stopped and never went back so i don't mess with them i don't like people i don't date people that smoke I don't really like to be around people that smoke because that smoke, it gets in your hair, it gets all in your clothes, and you be stinking and stuff. Like, if you go to, hey, Debbie, you go to a club or stuff like that, or you go to um, a bar when people when, when they used to let people smoke in public places, and then all that smell be all in your clothes, and people think you smoke, and you ain't the one that's smoking. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, it is. It is sad, but true. But that's what happened. People be talking about you like a dog in the street. Like you stole something from them. You, you ain't did nothing to them. You thought that you was cool with them. You thought that they, you was their friend. And they talking about you like a dog in the street. Yeah. I, I did too, um, Janine. I did too. But yes, so I'm just saying that the importance of life insurance is very important. That's what we were talking about. But we was at, I was asking everybody, and I said, if you don't have it, if you, because I took a class this weekend, and I was telling people if they want any answer to any, some questions, to, to definitely hit me up. Because I took a class to get my insurance license this weekend. I got a test not the state exam but the class test and then i have to register for the state exam exactly um janine exactly but we was talking about what was your favorite movies of the 90s and i named 11 movies that i liked Love Jones was number one. Save the Last Dance was number two. Best Man was number three. All of these are the original movies. Love and Basketball, Dead Presidents, How High, um, White Chicks, um, Legally Blonde, Bring it. I had a lot of a lot of them, but my best all-time movie. She said best men. Okay. Thank you, Janine. She said best men. So best man, best man, best man. I love that movie too. And I and let me tell you, I like the the second one too. I just hate that she died. I hate that she died, but. It, if her dying brought them together, I, I, and I'm a crybaby. Let me tell you, I am a crybaby, so don't take me. Well, I'm going to be sitting up there crying because I'm going to be crying. Crocodile tears. When we get out the movie, I'm going to have them white lines for me crying on my face and the, salt, the, the, the salty tears drying up on my face because I'm going to cry in the movie. Thank you so much. You a cry baby too? <laughs> so and nobody else, okay, I only got a couple people told me their best movie, they movie for um the, the their favorite movie from the 90s. Has anybody ever in here seen Save the Last Dance? Save the Last Dance is the same guy he played in um oh wait a minute, I forgot about Barbershop. I forgot about Fridays. Like Save the Last Dance was the guy from Barbershop, the one that thought he knew everything. That's the same God from Barbershop 1, the one that always used to get into it with Eve in the barbershop is the same guy. And then in Barbershop 2, he was working for the older men or whoever he was working for. So he was in Save the Last Dance. That move, and remember um, the group 
Keisha, is it Keisha Washington? Or Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington and Save the Last Dance played his sister. I think that was like her breakout movie. Because after that, she really started getting famous. Like, really getting famous. And then she got that, that, that show that came on TV about the, what, about White House. And she was, she was the white, um, the president's mistress. So, what's the name of that show? Because I never watched that show. But Kerry Washington was in that movie. Save the Last Dance. That guy from the barbershop was in that movie. Um, I forget the um, the Caucasian girl that um, was the dance. I forget her name. Oh, Players Club. Yes, Players Club. I forgot all about Players Like, I like all of the Fridays movies. I like all of the Harry Potter. Anybody in here got kids? And they went to see the Harry Potter movies. Like, I took my son. He has all of the Harry Potter books, I think, except for the last one. Because by that time, he was like, I don't want that. I'm too old for that. But he still watches those Chinese um, or Japanese, I should say, Japanese cartoons. But he's still he too old for Harry Potter. Okay, that's another story. Anyway, Scandal. Yes, yeah, Scandal. That's it, Janine. Scandal. Yes, Mary. Scandal. Yes. Set it off. Oh, my God. To this day, I don't want to watch Set It Off no more because I hate when Queen Latifah get killed. Even though she went out like a boss, I hate to see when she get killed. So, to this day, I won't watch it no more. But, yes, set it off. Set it off. Players Club when she beat that chick behind. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo this is fun. This is fun. Yes. Yes, this is fun. Oh, I'm going to do this more often. Get y'all talking up in these comments. Who else? Who else? Set it off. Yes, I'm telling you, I hate to see. I love that Jada made it out. And I like, um, what's his name that played the guy that helped Jada? I like him. But I hated him in Tyler Perry's movie. The one where he used, was beating up on the girl. What's that movie where he was beat? He was supposed to be getting married to her. He was using her like a trophy wife, but he was beating her up too. I I I never. What's his name? Just ran across my mind too. I forget his name. I forget his name. And let me tell you, my what is like? Oh, TV shows, living single it's the 90s kind of girl i'm glad i got y'all keep your head up what keep your head up what i love living single okay of course good times and you see when lona passed away blair underwood that's right ebony blair underwood i like blair underwood okay good times living single sanford and sons um these are 80s shows that went into the 90s. So that's Sanford and Son. Um, oh, God. Oh, um, um, the Jeffersons. Uh, what was the, the, the show that the Jeffersons was on that they broke off and went to? And then they had their own show. I like that show, too. I used to watch that all the time. Um, what was the name of that show? What did you say? Prince of Bel Air, you mean? Oh, you mean? Um, it's, it's not called the Prince of Bel Air. Is um, you talking about the movie, the show with Will Smith? In Living Color, yes, Ebony. In Living Color, oh my God, yes, Ebony. In Living Color was, oh my God, two snaps and a. <laughs> yes, Living Color. They need to bring Living Color back. They need to bring Living Color back. They need to bring and Living um Living Color back. They need to. I'm telling you. Oh um um. What's the show that um that the brothers played on the Cosby Show? I love the Cosby Show. Oh, look look, Lisa didn't got a whole thing. Martin, yes, Martin. Family Matters, girl, yes, girlfriends. They need to bring girlfriends back. Different world, yes, different world. Oh, my God. This is so much fun, right? 
different world. Like, we don't got TV the same. Look, Saturday at 12 o'clock, Fox, Channel 5, any karate movie. Any karate movie. Me and my, because my brother was into jiu-jitsu. He was a fifth degree black belt in, in jiu-jitsu. So, no, but what's the show that diff, um that the Jeffersons was on? It was the white show, the the, the husband and the wife, and they used to, and he was racist, and he used to call his son-in-law meathead. What was that show? I used to like that show too. And then the Jeffersons moved next door, and then from there they went and they got the high rise in the sky. They got they show the Jeffersons. Um, but um. What was I saying before that? What was I saying before that, y'all? But this is fun. This is really fun. Yes, we gonna do this more often, y'all. Yes, hunty. Yes. Yo, it is so hot. It's 53 degrees. I mean, that's not hot. I be still cold, but in my car, it's hot. Color, I like color purple, but I don't like color. Like, I don't like to see all of those, those, um, I like any black exploitation movies. Okay, let's go into the black exploitation movie. All in the Family. Yes, Doreen. All in the Family. Yes, Lisa. Archie Bunker. All in the Family. Yes, uh, Janine. Yes, I liked All in the Family. I like any of the black exploitation movies with Jim Jones or whatever his name was. Yes, I liked all of that. What was the movie that the brothers had? Oh, that's what I was talking about. The movie that the brothers had made when the lady sat down and they went. He went on a date with a lady. He went back to the house and she took off her leg. She took out her eye. She she just thought she took her wig off. What was the name of that movie? My mother loved that movie. What was the name of that movie? That was the the two the Wayne brothers had made that movie too. I like Shaft, the Wayne brother versions of. But I like Shaft, period. But oh, I like all the black exploitation movies. That's what they called those movies back in the day, the black exploitation movies. I liked all of those. Um, but what was the name of that um the the um the show? Um I even like remember Tommy Davidson used to have his own show. And Jamie Foxx used to have Jamie Foxx, I like Jamie Foxx, but remember when he used to um sing when jamie Fo then we're gonna do songs tomorrow or next thursday we're gonna do song oh yep 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 that was good too kind of comes to harlem mary i'm gonna get you sucker yes that movie was the bomb my mother loved that <laughs> I'm going to get you. My mother loved that movie. That movie, Harlem Nights was good too. Yep. 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 But it, like, all of the, I'm telling you, Cleopatra Jones, these were the black exploitation movies. Um, what, is it Geraldine? What was the name of that movie with the lady? She had about seven kids. And then James Earl Jones started dating her. Is it is it Geraldine? What is the name of that movie? I'm telling you that that yes. Yes. I'm going to get you sucker was hilarious. When my mother seen the lady started taking off all her legs, taking off her, not all of them, but took her eye out, took her wig off. Was pop, my mother was like, "What? Yes, yes, yo, we gotta do it. so next, so next time, so y'all think, don't say nothing here." Oh, Claudine, Claudine, yes, that that was a very good movie, Claudine. Um, we going to think about, um, st I want y'all to think, don't say nothing here, but Thursday, 
songs songs we're gonna do songs hey baby and we're about to get off because it's, it's one minute to nine i'm to, to one we're about to get off but songs yes we gotta do songs is next songs 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 i need y'all to think about 90 songs 1990 songs that was your favorite song that you had to like everybody got shut up you got you know all the words you wrote the road words down it could be a rap it could be a a, a disco song it could be a slow jam think about small she said my 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 movie love claudine oh you love claudine hey that's good shay well it's afternoon over here boy it just it's one o'clock now so thursday do not write it here but Thursday, think about your favorite 90 song. I already know mine. My, my number one favorite. I almost got killed because I used to go in my brother's room and steal the, 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 the album. Cause remember, we had albums back then. I used to steal the album and play the song. And I used to have to... We, I lived on President Street between Notion and Rogers. And I had to keep peeking. Because the train station is on the corner of President Street. So my brother would get off the train station and, and come home. Would just walk right down the block. And I used to have to go peek out my window and see if he coming. So I could sneak his record back into his room. And like back then, you know, you had the record player. The, you, the, your parents bought you your own little small record player. And sometimes you had to put a quarter on top of, or a nickel on top of the needle. So it will stay down. So it won't be skipping and scratching up your record. Who? remembers this who rem i need some heart some heart some heart if anybody remember what i'm talking about right now you remember you had to put the quarter on top of the needle so the needle stayed down and play the record smooth or who remember that they had the tv and the stereo system all together we had a big i think my mother still got that zenith downstairs in the basement the big zenith tv that had the stereo system on one side and the TV on the other. Who can I get an amen? Who remember? Give me some hearts, some hearts, some hearts. If you remember that, I need some hearts in the thing. If you remember that too. My mother used to have that. We, I think we might even still have the Zenith TV. Because remember, you wasn't saying nothing if you ain't have a Zenith TV with the stereo system okay the xena tv with the stereo system on the side yes janine yes the xena tv with the stereo system on the side you was a the bomb.com yes you were yes i'm going way back yes way back yo we i'm telling you these kids don't even understand they do not understand they do not understand what what we but, and we have fun. Everything was fun. We made fun of every, wherever we went. We was outside jumping double dutch. Dutch. Skelly in the middle of the street. You had to get up every time a car come down the block. Skelly in the middle of the street. Um, um, handball and um, pat, um, what's the when you used to hit the ball and hit the wall? What was that called? um at the bottom and then skied up like that we have fun okay we have fun you had your mama come out there with her girls jumping rope the mother sitting on the stool smoking a cigarette off in the house frying fish while you was outside playing we have fun these kids don't know what fun is they just do not know they do not know what fun is we have fun we wasn't killing ourselves to be watching TV. We watched TV once it was time to go in the house. That's when we watched TV. In the summertime, we didn't care nothing about no damn TV. We'll go out there and jump some rope now. In the summertime, we didn't care nothing about TV. We was outside until the lights came on and our parents told us that we had to come inside. If you lived in an apartment building, you and your girlfriends hung outside in the hallway in the apartment building and played and jumped rope. The parents did not complain because they knew their kids were safe. Hi, Marva. They knew their kids. We have fun now. Your kids either... My son was a video head, so he was he to this day he don't be out in the street like that. But 
these days you gotta worry about your kids being out here in these streets i ain't have to really worry about that and he's in london right now he'll be home tomorrow he's in london building his business and he'll be home tomorrow but i really didn't have to worry too much about my son out there in the streets she said i'll kill my son no you won't take it slow Go stand outside in front of your house and get one of them jump ropes and take it slow. Don't we, of course, we ain't going to be jumping like we used to, but you can jump. But I'm about to get off, ladies. I'm about to, because I'm dying in heat in the car. I'm telling you, it's hot in the car. I'm about to get off. I said, so keep in your memory bank, what was your favorite song of the 90s? So this is our trivia question for next, for Thursday's live. Don't forget. I'll be here between 11.30 and 12 o'clock. Don't be late. Only way I won't be here if something arises, I get sick or whatever like that. But between 11.30, oh, my headband and my keys are about to skip. I got to put my headband back on. See, I told you this is ammonia weather. I'm not playing with these people. And I got to take these braids out. I guess I'll take it out this weekend. Because I got to go take this test to, on Wednesday. So I ain't going to be out here with my head looking crazy so don't forget that is going to be in, in yes he's in the london building his business yes my son is not playing so um thursday 11 30 12 o'clock be here or be square have your songs written down your favorite song i already know what my number one favorite song is okay and then i got my rap Okay, okay, I'm just saying. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. So I see y'all there. Have a good one. Love you all.